Okay. Uh, what? What? what uh, 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 um. Have either one of you encountered? I, I don't want. I'm hesitant to talk about this uh, Ubuntu error because I do enough bashing on Ubuntu. Have Have either one of you come across this yet? Uh, you. I don't know how much more you've messed with Ubuntu, James, in the last week. Uh, Jordan, I know you I have, but uh, okay. Uh, but have you? But do you use Blender? I don't. Uh, okay. Uh, like, supposedly, I, I've gotten this report from more than one person, and I've seen some videos on YouTube and stuff. Apparently, if you're running Blender in conjunction with a few other pieces of software in, in Unity, uh, you know, in 11.04, it it re it reboots the system. Basically, it crashes the desktop. Uh, and, and it's I I don't know if this is temporary. If this is just an oversight, you know. It, I mean, you have this many different packages. Occasionally, you just get a weird. <laughs> um, so I guess I, the question would be: Does it happen in uh, the version the non uh, competent? No, 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 no. The 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 the, the do you mean if you go back to 1010 or if you... No, if you're on 1104 in the classic desktop with, with Compass turned off. I don't actually know on that. Again, it's, it's I... It does appear to be above Yeah. It, no, it, 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 it does appear to be tied to the effects and things like that. However, one thing... However, rather it's tied just to the effects like that or it's actually a, a, a core incompatibility as things stand now do you a, a Linux system without all the desktop effects I mean it, maybe I've been spoiled <laughs> I don't know it's like it, if I'm using something regardless of whose fault it is and the, and the fix is yes you just can't use any of the navigation effects so I'm gonna go Hmm. Uh, I think I'll use something else until you get that fixed. I, I, I'm not. I, I'm not trying to bash it. My, my honest guess here is it's probably not Ubuntu's fault. It's probably Blender needs to update something. Um. But end result's the same. You know, these things don't play nice with each other right now. The fact that y'all know neither one of you know anything about this means it's probably just a small number of applications. Do you think they'll probably be fixed by the end of the year, or you think this will turn into another okay, it's still doing it problem? It depends on the apps. I, I've used 11.04 to some extent, but not a whole lot more than Caden Live, Firefox, um, remote desktop, things like that. My, limit, my desktop and laptop usage is very, very limited at this point. Well, and, and my, my, my concern on the fact that there's enough people reporting this, I, I, I don't think it's like isolated to a few configurations. I think if you're running these two things together, they just don't run right. But it's Blender. And Blender is, it's a niche application. It's a very good, a very powerful application, but it's for people doing that type of work. And admittedly, that's not the average end user. And one thing I have noticed is in Linux, just like any other platform, when what's causing the problem is a niche market, mm, not as much of a fire under it. <laughs> Jordan, are you still using Arch right now? Yes, I am. Was there a reason for yeah, I don't know. Was there a reason for asking him that? <laughs> I, I'm just wondering if he's if he's testing anything or if he's still using Arch. I, I Jordan, what are you not testing something? <laughs> what am I not testing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, when I sleep. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, wait, did you say you are or you aren't? Uh, I am still using Arch on my desktop. His primary system is Arch, but I mean, by virtue of... My laptop of the goes between Ubuntu and Fedora and whatever else day by day. Yeah, it's like, Jordan, Jordan's unusual in that respect, in that, you know, he loves Arch, but by virtue of 
do donating his time, effort, and resources, he actually uses almost everything. <laughs> for I don't use as many as I really should. <laughs> actually, the next one I'll probably be looking at is Pardus. Which one? Pardus. I've honestly the, uh, never heard of that Developed one. by the country of Turkey. It's a KDE-based distro that's uh, entirely funded and created by the country of Turkey, the scientific institute there. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Which one did you say? Part Pardus, I think. Pardus. P A R D U S. Pardus. Pardus with a P. Mm-hmm. Not to be confused. Oh, okay. I know about Pardus. Yeah. Not, not, not to be confused with um, the funny bot Darwin. The little blue box, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you, you've used KDE more than I have, uh, Jordan. I, I, I like what I'm seeing, but my official distro pack hasn't upgraded to it yet, so I'm sitting back. All right, so let's continue. But, so let's sit yeah. back a little bit. It, it, from what I've heard, it's it's stable. I'm sure the fact that I've said that now, I'm going to get nothing but 50 people sending me hate. Uh, Caden uh, hates, you know, going, Oh, Caden crashes, Caden crashes, Caden crashes. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Caden on 08, it's gotten a lot better. Uh, there are some new features to it, some things that I'm still learning about, some things that I don't think work quite properly yet, but when they're done, they'll work really, really nicely, like proxy clips. This is, it sounds like uh, you people might want to wait on 0.801. Uh, oh, whenever that comes out. <laughs> That's... Uh, I, like, like I said, so far, I've been using it to, to make all my videos, and it has... I, I will say it has not crashed on me yet. Ha, 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 have you done the? Because one of the things that it it's I never do this, and I've done it a few times, and it hasn't crashed on me. But the complaint that that a lot of people go with Caden Live is if you get in there and mid project you try and change the project profile and everything else, it can crash Caden. Have you been like throwing all the? Po- strong probability of crashing Caden Live at 8 and it does or doesn't do it or have you been I, I do crash? remember now I have seen it crash one time in doing that that's with my new camera uh, I was using 24 frames a second which is actually 23.997 or something like that yeah, and I had it at 30 video. frames a second I changed it to 24 and I think I did it too quickly I changed it from 24 to 23 and 8 and it got angry and crashed <laughs> so, but I had the project saved so I just opened it up well, no, no, that's the other thing. I've been able to trigger that error two or three times, but because of the recover nature, it's like I didn't lose any work. You know, I just relaunched the application. It's like, oh, we're going to recover everything you did. Uh, it's like, so it's like, why well, annoying to the workflow, uh, and, and like I said, it usually doesn't do it to me, but I've had other people who's like, they do it all the time. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that I like to say about Caden Live is save early, save often. Well, it's like, and, and honestly, I've been happy with the recover standard on it. That's the one thing oh, I, yeah. I, I love right. that, that's built into so much stuff over here on the Linux side. It, it's just, oh, it, everything got screwed up. Don't worry, to recover it. Nine times out of ten. You know, just like any system, I wouldn't count on that in its entirety. But as a matter of fact, I have gotten in trouble a couple of times because I've grown so used to counting on that. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I never actually saved this file. Crap. Crash. <laughs> but aside from that, it's like... Uh, all right. It's, uh, it's not like that. Uh, uh, James, do you ever use Caden or any of the editors or stuff? Or just not really? You're muted. Uh, well, we could have a we could have a war there. <laughs> but um, I've tried Kaden Live. I've tried OpenShot. They both crash a lot. Uh, you know, I, I'm gonna get blasphemy for saying this, but honestly, if you want the all-time most crashes award for video editors in Linux, although. You know, just like I say Caden Live never crashes because it doesn't for me, I've had just as many people say this about the one I'm going to name. Cinderella. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I have never. Oh, for me, it's not that Simlara doesn't crash. It's that I, you can't use it. <laughs> well, yeah, so that, it's very usable. You just have to take a. It's very usable. You just have to take a weekend to read the manual. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, it, that, that, that to me is the real point where Cinderella failed. It's like, I, I did that one time. I, and I, because I, I don't use it that often, I've forgotten half of that, but I'm sure if I got back in there and started reading, I'm like, okay. But I sat there, there and I started going through the manual and I actually, I actually figured out how to do everything I want to do. I'm like, wow, this is a really, really powerful application. It has a lot of crap here. Oh, dear God. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Powerful, but all of that is lost by the cra uh, crashing a lot on a lot of systems. And uh, even if you get past that, like you're saying, it's very counterintuitive. I have honestly got to pick somebody's brain who does video editing professionally for a living because, based on what I know about some of the old analog technology. For doing video editing, I look at Cinderella and I'm like, I swear this reminds me of this stuff. And I, 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 I bet if you're trained in that mindset, like if you're one of these people who's been editing video for 20 plus years, if you sit down in Cinderella, I bet it makes sense to you. But I haven't been able to confirm that. And that might be who they designed that UI for. Because those people don't think like we do with this nice non-linear digital fit. Done. <laughs> Every, well, I like my non-linear editing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it is still non-linear editing. It's just it's a very different UI. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on to what may or may not be the last topic. Um, what what do we think about the whole? Honestly, my personal opinion is I think this is beginning to come to a head, and I'm glad to see it coming to a head. You know, the whole Linux purists versus... A, you know, we've come full circle now. We're going back to the conversation we were having at the start. <laughs> um, what, what do we think about the whole, you know, purists versus just average users? Because there's more and more average Linux users today, you know? There is still a more geekier tech element to a Linux user, but um, I, I don't know if y'all agree with my assessment here. I, I think there's more just average, I just want it to effing work users in Linux these days. I'm seeing more and more of those. I'm seeing more and more. Okay. I mean, you think there's a... A lot of the people who are just average I just wanted to work. Linux users don't actually know they're running Linux. Like, um, I once I, I, I was walking in the library and saw a, a person who was using uh, Zubuntu, and I'm like, oh, hey, you're using Zubuntu. And they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that, you know, that, that, that's their operating system, and they, they didn't know that that's what that, that's what they're well, no, it, it, it's the same thing. You know, like all, all these freaking TV using, commercials. You know, whoever, you know, maybe they're. Well, no, it, it, th that's the other funny thing. People don't realize this, but they see Lin I, I would bet every American sees Linux in operation on a computer once a day. Yeah. And, and I would say that, uh, you know, for the fact that if you go watch any TV show, any TV show, movie, son, whatever, they're all it, it, they're living in my utopia world. Every computer runs Linux. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody realizes it's Linux because it's made to look like OS X or Windows, but there's enough things that just aren't quite... It's like, oh, it's Linux! I don't know. I, 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 I even know what they tweaked! <laughs> it's like... Um, except when it's Apple. Yeah. <laughs> except when it's a Apple or Windows commercial or something specifically licensed. But aside from that, yes, everything's running Linux in the, in the TV world. <laughs> um... I would argue that people in that situation, they realize they're running Linux when they go to install something that doesn't work under one. Uh, that's when they realize That's when they realize I'm not running Windows. Uh, th this is one of the reasons I like the fact that Adobe has begun to get the message. <laughs> because, like, I, if you it, say that during the next topic. 
Well, I mean, they're all kind of related. <laughs> it's, um, it, I, I'm with Jordan. I'm happy this has happened, but I can't help but remember about 10, 18 months ago, you would talk to Adobe and they would honestly tell you straight to your face, well, nobody in Linux wants to buy Adobe. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on Linux. I'd give you 2500 bucks if it was a Linux version. <laughs> If I didn't have to go through emulation and other shit to make it work, I'm not giving you $2,500 for something I have to go tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak that you're going to provide me no support and say it's it's my problem that your software doesn't work right. Um, do you think they really... I think there's, there's actually been an update to that story that uh, while it's on their radar, they know that Linux users are interested there are no immediate plans to do anything yeah, about that, it. That, that, that was going to be my ne that, that was going to be my next question. How long do we figure before they kind of go, okay, these people are all annoying us. How do we quietly acknowledge them and then sweep them under the rug? <laughs> and, uh, I think it depends on how well a bunch of this uh, well, no, that's the other thing. I don't want I, I don't want them to be focusing they, they purely on Ubuntu. Well, it's a start. I mean, if they, I think that if Ubuntu can make it shown that their software center can get people to buy paid applications from it, it's a good system. People, companies will take interest in that. I mean, if you think about it, iOS, you know, at least used to have less market share than Linux. Yeah, a bunch of companies spend big money developing applications for that. And I'm not saying it's the same thing to port, you know, a, a, a whole desktop application, but it already runs on Mac and kind of similar, similar to Linux, and I don't know. Um, anyway, I think that if they see that app store, they might, they might, you know, become more interested. And then maybe from there, they, you know, well, no, but my, 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 my concern is if they're basing their my, my concern is if they're basing their interest on the Ubuntu apps place instead of uh, Linux as a whole, they're gonna just write a deb. They're gonna just compile a deb uh, installer and then uh, it basically it'll work on Ubuntu and everybody else will have to jump through hoops to get it to work and that, that that's not a limit there, it doesn't have to be built that way it's just if they focus on that narrow tunnel vision like that and go fine we'll focus on this narrow tunnel vision that's how it will be built and that'll be the ultimate F you to Linux users oh I you're not supporting awesome. canonical yeah, yeah. fuck you <laughs> they don't want to work and play <laughs> I think a lot, a lot of these companies really need to take some uh some cues from the humble indie bundle. They're able to put it out there and make it work for pretty much all of the distros out there. I mean, I've, I've tried it on I think three or four different distros now, and it's worked fine on all of them as long as the hardware supported. And it's just a dot run file or a dot bin file. Well, and you know, at the at the that's how, that's how it, yeah. Uh, well, it's like and they, here's the thing: but to do that, they don't even need to open source their product. All they need to do is make a make a binary. And uh, it, for some applications, and, for, and uh, Adobe Creative Suite may be one of them, you may need to create a open source uh, VM that would allow the individual distros to do tiny tweaks here in the way this communicates with the, with the core. Uh, it, but I mean, I mean, if you write it for one system, it should work for most any Linux system. It's, it's not easy to write something that'll uh, you know, not work. As long as you, as long as you write it, as long as you write it correctly, and actually just go to the binaries and like do the bins, like uh, uh, Jordan's saying. But I, I don't know if they will. And it's like I, 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 I hadn't heard that they'd already basically gone. Yeah, we appreciate y'all um, basically telling us you're going to nail us on the cross when, and stab us with pitchforks if we don't provide this. So stop. Stop uh, telling us you want to buy it, so we can pretend you don't want to buy it again. <laughs> I didn't realize they'd already gone back to that, but it, 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 that's what I find funny. I would love to know the actual statistics, because this is the statistics that's not tracked. 
How many people on a given day call these companies and go, I'd love to buy your product, where's the Linux version? You know, because they, they act like we're all nutters, but you know, just general discussions, I could probably name a thousand people. And I don't know that many people. And I, also, I mean, it's a niche market, but it's, uh, do, do we think it's a it's a PR issue for Linux? You know, p they think they think we're all like, I have to pirate it, I have to steal it, I'm entitled. Do, do they think that's what all of us are? Do they think if they like sell us something, it'll be torrent yes, dis do. it'll be that's torrent distributed in like five seconds? <sighs> I do think that it is a PR issue. I think that that's the issue. Oh, okay. Hello? No, I'm, I'm here. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, yeah. You're chopping out for a bit. I actually do think that that's the reason why. I, I think it's a PR issue. You know, people, the PR of Linux people are just going to try to hack our product, and the PR of Linux people don't want to buy anything, which is why, you know, even though it's, you know, it's just to start, Ubuntu is, you know, really the thing that would be changing that because they're, you know... If they see people are buying stuff through this and, you know, that there's not, you know, a lot of, you know, all the hackers are using Arch or whatever, they might be more comfortable with seeing that, okay, so they're not all like that. Maybe we can start developing for that. And then well, no, but see, th 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 that's going to be the same problem because what they'll do is they'll specifically tailor it to what they consider the good distros and they'll specifically f try and find a way to ostracize what they consider the bad distros, <laughs> you know, they'll say Jordan can't have it because he's using Arch and they're evil hackers. You know, they're just not. Uh, but it's a start. I mean, you're you're just gonna see Arch Ubuntu, which is just gonna be Ubuntu with uh, dip, uh with Depackage taken and replaced with Pacman and just a binary compatible with Ubuntu Arch system. And then they, they really, once it's binary compatible, you can't really do anything to not make it your software work. I mean, there's no choice. It's going to work on something if it's the same exact exactly. system. So you're just going to see that. And, and you know, oh, okay. it, it's, it's, I, I, but I think you, that. You, you, you've been getting called in and, off, in and out, Jordan. What were you going to say? <laughs> oh, um, th there's a, there was actually a conversation with Mark Shuttleworth uh, just a couple of days ago, I think. Um, talking about the Windicators, the changes coming up in, in 11.10, but they also asked him about the possibility of moving to a rolling release, and he said, if distros start doing it, we'll probably do it too. So, as yeah, more people move to distros, it's interesting. He said interesting. that we won't get left behind. I see that, you know, a lot of people are liking that, so that if, if other people start doing that, we'll do it too. Yeah. Well, no, and, 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 and the only problem with rolling releases uh, is for people in countries with less developed infrastructures because a rolling release becomes a pain in the ass if you're on one of these less. Uh, but setting that problem aside for I mean, the moment, you don't, you don't, if you don't upgrade the rolling release, it's just the same as a normal release. Without no, I, I I know that. But setting that problem aside for some, I would honestly like to see a world where all Linux distros become rolling release because there is a significant advantage to rolling releases. And that basically, with the exception of unilateral desktop changes, uh, like when my system upgraded from KDE 4.5 to 4.6, by virtue of the nature of that upgrade, I had to redo some tweaks after that upgrade. You know, it's just what's going to have to happen. Um, I, I, I would like to see uh, true rolling on that. Because it's basically none of this, you know, every one to three years, redo your system. It's, if I'm going to keep my system for five years, I'm going to keep it for five years. I'm going to keep whatever. You know, eventually you're going to it, it you're gonna reach the point where your old piece of shit is an old piece of shit. I, it's not the standard model uh, for software distribution, but I love that model because it's do it once, and as long as you don't fuck it up, don't fucks with it again. Just let it take care of itself. It's it, it talk about no maintenance for the most part. It's I love that. Alright. And then we fell on silence. <laughs> silence is falling. <laughs> uh, 
Do we even want to go into any of that stuff we went into in the lot? For those of you who have noticed, we have skipped a number. Um, there was another episode. It uh, it got ated. <laughs> and it was awesome. Yeah, I know. It was great. We covered everything. We solved all the problems of open source. You know, we, we wrote a... We, <laughs> we talked about the meaning of life, too. I, I know. <laughs> but we can't, we can't now. It's... What's done is done. I know. Sorry. <laughs> uh, do we think uh, last votes on the Adobe thing? It. Do we think uh, within a month this is just going to quiet? Now that they like don't want people filling out the form and stuff anymore, do we think this is kind of just going to be a swept under the shelf project, or do you think they have figured out? Okay, we need to get this product built, but we're not going to talk about it until some. You know, I, I I thought that's what was going on with some of these companies, but we still don't have a steam for Linux, so I'm not so sure. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 on that note, Jordan, have you heard anything about steam for? I'm Linux? sorry, I'm losing you. Uh, on, on that note, have you heard anything about steam for Linux in the past blah months? I haven't uh, heard crap. The only thing I've heard is that. Um, Portal 2 has the same sort of, uh, hey, by the way, there's Linux stuff in there, too. Um, yeah. Nothing specific, you know, yes, we are coming, or no, we're not. It's just, it almost seems like they're laying the groundwork, but they're not actually wanting to say, hey, we're coming, until such a day that maybe there's a critical mass that builds on the Linux side, maybe, magically. Um... <laughs> know on that to be honest just wondering since we're talking about those kind of things my, 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 like no honestly um if it's gp Jordan, do you know any idea? steam has drm yeah so it's same problem yeah because the However, whole there are open source games that are available through steam all of the or a lot of the humble indie bundle games are available through steam yeah, yes but are those released under the gpl or are they released under the alternative open source license because the, the the only reason the stuff got yanked from iOS is because somebody made a complaint. You know, I, Apple didn't actually actively go yank it, but in the lieu of a valid complaint, they really didn't have a choice. Because if they hadn't yanked it, they would have had to say, well, this is really a problem we're causing, and <laughs> that, that's not going to happen. Um... But, yeah, no, you're right, because it has DRM, it would be the exact same problem. Um, so I guess if there's ever an open source game that's released under a GPL that's active competition for any proprietary game, yeah, they're going to all get yanked from Steam. And that's a real shame, because basically if your game's not on Steam, you're not compatible with a lot of gamers. Because that, that, that has just become the de facto gaming platform these days. I don't know. Well, with the exception, of course, of Blizzard's various um, things. <laughs> you know? I, 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 you know, d on that note, do we think that's ever well, going to... Blizzard is still the biggest, you know, as far as... Yeah. Do, do, do we think that'll ever happen? Do you think we'll ever see something like Diablo and uh, World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft, distributed through Steam. <laughs> Do we think we'll ever see that world? Uh, I could see probably doing World of Warcraft through something like Steam, but uh, I, I'd say maybe not, be, just because Blizzard does most of their stuff through uh, torrents anyway. So they provide the file a couple of times, and then everybody else sort of spreads it amongst themselves. Yeah, which is actually something I really wish Steam would take a cue from Blizzard on, rather than having all of these single point things. Because when you gotta download an eight gig game from that single point thing, it just mm, no doesn't doesn't happen quickly. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. Unless there's anything else we want to hash into. <laughs> not really. Not for me. Not very. Okay. Oh, uh, well, 
everybody wish Jordan betters, because Jordan needs betters. <laughs> and depending on when this goes up, um, it might be my birthday. Okay, everybody wish Jordan a happy birthday. Yay, happy birthday. Actually, no. My birthday's next, not this Saturday, next Saturday. Mm, yeah. This will be up before then. Right, you sure you want to give the exact date out? <laughs> I gave it out last year. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true, you did. I guess. And, yeah.